how to free up space on local disk C, how to clean local disk C, type in the search bar, or even quicker, using the keyboard shortcut Windows plus R. Then type the following command, temp. Everything about that will be in the description below, so you don't have to worry about not knowing how to write, because it will be in the description, okay? When you write temp, then click enter. If a permission prompt appears, click continue. If not, proceed. In the folder that we just opened, all the files are temporary files and are automatically created while you browse your computer or laptop. Over time, they accumulate and basically have no use. We need to delete them because it's like the dust that we accumulate when we pass through some place in the house or when we haven't cleaned it for a while. So let's clean it up. Press Ctrl plus a to select all. Then shift to the LED to delete everything without sending to recycle bin. It will ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete those 15 files? You you're gonna click yes. And now choose to do for all the files and continue. Some files may not delete and in this case continue with the option that says do this for all and then skip for any of the files that are done delete. Now let's move on to the next step. Another important thing is to compare the size of your local disk C before and after performing all the steps that I'm going to show you in this video. After you've completed everything you've seen in this video, leave a comment let me know how much free space you gained. The second step to free up more space on local disk C is as follows. Right click on the recycle bin and then select empty recycle bin. This is because even though files are in the recycle bin, they will still take up space. It will ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Then you're gonna click yes. I know you want to free up more space on your local disk C because you are having trouble installing the program or a program isn't working properly um, due to a lack of space or simply because you see that it's everything that is very full and you want to address it. In addition, the C part of your computer is where the Windows is usually installed and the Windows itself already consumes a significant portion of it. So a full C drive can also lead to a wanted freeze in slowdowns. Okay? So everything must be overloaded by now. And the cleaning, it will help you a lot. I've had laptops brought to me for repair that had very little space for storage, so be very careful when buying a laptop. You don't need to be an expert, but you also shouldn't go in a completely clueless. First, you end up paying too much for something, and then you're gonna pay for something that doesn't work as well. These days a laptop should have at least 500 GB of storage as minimal. A while back when files were smaller, it was still possible to buy a 320 not laptop and some people used 250 but nowadays you need to buy a ADD or SSD with more capacity to avoid problems like this anyway regardless of the reason you need to free up space let's move on to the next step to the third step to clean up your local disk C in the third step you again use the run command by pressing Windows plus R and you type the following percentage temp percentage which is basically the same as the previous step but it but with the percentage both at the beginning and the end so see that they are different files from the ones before it may look the same but it's not however the procedure is the same select everything with the control a and then shift the let click yes and just wait I have a video specifically about computer shortcuts that can greatly simplify your life and I will leave you in the card for you to watch after finishing this video. It's also in the video description, okay? So watch it to become a familiar with computers. So continue. So press shift plus the let to permanently delete these files and remember that shift plus the let delete files forever. It doesn't go to the recycle bin and you're gonna lose forever. I mean, it's not forever because you can recover with some programs that also in this channel have some videos about how to recover files that you deleted, even from the recycle bin.
by the way you're gonna do the same do this for all the current files try again if not do again do this for current files and then skip you're gonna wait for a bit now let's move on to the next step on how to clean your local disk C and again use the run command and this time you're gonna write the following prefetch again this will be in the description below you don't need to recall yourself and remember but it will be in the description below so you can just check and check and but before I continue let me tell you this stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm sure it will work for you and I also have a very important recommendation in case it doesn't work at all which I find very unlikely because or even if you want to free up even more space on local disk C let's move type prefetch like I say in the run command and you'll be in this screen if it's going a bit too fast or if you have a trouble seeing don't worry I'll be it will be in the description like I said you can also rewind the video in any case I'll always zoom in the screen to make it easier for you just like percentage temp percentage and temp the two previous steps this one is also about deleted temporary files so select everything with the control A and then shift plus delete for me it doesn't have a lot of files because I just deleted some days ago so it won't be but do do for yourself I know there will be a lot of I know there will be a lot of files Oops, is good and to go to the flex pool, you're gonna click right here then you are going to this PC go to the C drive right click select properties and then perform what we call disk cleanup right here you can see that each steps more advanced than the previous one so the first steps are simpler but important now we are going for a deeper disk cleanup and that's why it's important to follow each step it's done calculating it found the files that need to be deleted and look how much space is available to delete and here there is no need to check anything else because everything has already been selected so click OK and delete the files don't worry it won't delete anything of yours and harm your computer it just unnecessary files after all this you're done and just click OK the next step to free up space in a local disk C is to delete unnecessary files to be honest this should have been one of the first steps because it's simple but no problem it's something that I just remember so let's continue go to the control panel control panel and then go to uninstall program here you're going to see the programs you don't need and just right click and install them like for example I don't want the Logitech J hub click with the right button and go to uninstall why I'm showing you this because I know many people download or install applications they only use it once or they accidentally install something while trying to download another program as many programs tend to do so it's normal identify the programs you don't need you, don't, you no longer need or use and install them they take up a lot of space on your disk and it's very easy just identify the programs you don't want to use and install them after installing I recommend doing the temp percentage temp and prefetch procedures again because uninstalling can sometimes generate temporary files the next step is the disk disfragmenter once again go to file export right click on the C drive go to properties now pay attention click on tools and then click optimize this part takes longer which is why I saved it for the last and in fact this step provides a deeper cleaning on your disk so you leave the C drive selected and click analyze or you can simply click optimize as it will perform both tasks analyze first and optimizing right after but make sure to have the C drive selected since that's the drive that we want to free up some more space and, and clean it so click optimize 
which I won't do here because my computer doesn't need to do this procedure at the moment and it can take a little bit of time however many people appreciate and say that this system runs much better after disfragmentating the disk so please leave a comment to let me know how your system is doing after those steps and that's all I ask just leave a comment and I and if you want to free up even more space on your PC I will leave a video link here on the corner about how to use the C cleaner which is a very important program that I also use on my computer in case it doesn't work which I find very unlikely or if you want to clear even more space on your computer I recommend watching this video so until the next video and I see you soon